going all in on Caspa. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, I'm Chris and today we're about to do our daily update about what happened in the Caspa price since yesterday. Also, we will see the rank, the market cap, the hash rate, the categories are the top 10 addresses, then we're going to move to the technical side of Caspa and also into the technical side of Bitcoin. And we will close the video, guys, with a very big concern that most of crypto investors right now uh, that invest in Caspa got in their mind, like, should I go all in on Caspa? So in this video, guys, I will give you the answer that you are looking for and we're going to discuss that further and deeply so if you're interested to know all of these things all you have to do is to remain until the end of the video before continue would like to clarify you that i'm not financial advisor whatever that you're going to see in this video is my own personal opinion my personal approach always do your own research before any kind of financial investment and guys if you are caspa enthusiast caspa holder or caspa investor i highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel because daily i upload caspa videos where i try to educate you inform you around caspa and around the crypto space so a subscription to my channel is going to be very beneficial for you and without losing more time let's get back to the video and start with the caspa price that today as you can clearly see we are back to the 13 cents area actually yesterday we surpassed the 14 cents area exactly actually guys i as i described you before two days in, on this video caspa will hit one dollar sooner than you think if you will watch this video you will see that i told you if bitcoin will bounce from this position and i told you that it seems that the current situation of Bitcoin is looking bullish, okay? Uh, the point actually that I told you that Bitcoin was starting exactly at this position. And I told you because we held very strongly this support, because previously it seemed that Bitcoin will do a uh, furthermore correction and maybe we would go to break this uh, option support. But uh, guys, Eventually, Bitcoin held that support, so I told you that we have probabilities for further more pump, and I told you that if Bitcoin will pump further, that's going to affect actually Caspa price too, and this is why actually we pumped to 14 cents area, and it happened exactly as I predicted. So right now, as you can clearly see, we are standing at the area very close to 14 cents, and since yesterday, actually the last 24 hours, we are 4.8% up. And right now the situation, it seems that is stabilized. And that's obviously because we didn't have furthermore buying pressure into Bitcoin. So Caspa actually at this point, I believe it follows 100% the Bitcoin because guys to see a further bigger pump from here, to see Caspa at 20 cents or at 18 cents, 17 cents, uh, that means that we will need institutional investors to buy massively and create massive buying pressure okay big volume and this is right now something that maybe uh, institutional investors don't have interest to buy caspa at these high prices let's see maybe they're gonna buy later on but right now it seems that caspa cannot pump further okay and even i told you even if bitcoin will be at forty thousand dollars okay forty one thousand dollars like with a straight pump from here i believe that caspa won't be able to surpass uh the 15 cents area maximum the 16 cents area but with lots of difficulties okay it, it won't be like an easy pump uh and obviously i believe subsequently it will come with a big correction okay like straight obviously to this uh support and maybe even lower later so that's only if bitcoin will pump okay anyway guys we will all of these things in the technical side i will jump into targets there uh more uh deeply let's right now look the market cap and the rank rank remains 28 very powerfully close to 3 billion market cap and let's go guys actually to check that and check our competitors of caspa because you will notice that caspa is going really close to flip monero and be back to the rank 27 guys this is really powerful sign uh we have ahead of us like true usd that i believe also we can flip that with an easy pam to close to 15 cents we can easily flip those two and we will have the next competitor of caspa the next um competitor that caspa will destroy is stellar okx leo token and then we will be back from the bitcoin cash and as you understand guys for a project that isn't backed by top tier exchanges this is 
very powerful position. Imagine what's going to happen when we will see Caspa in all top two exchanges. That's going to be explosion, okay? From a market cap, from uh, the demand, it's going to be the FOMO into another level. And also, as I told you, obviously, we need to see Caspa in top two exchanges uh, just for retail investors to buy from the exchanges, lots of CASPA, and then subsequently, we will try to educate them to liquidate the exchanges, so exchanges will have to buy even more CASPA, and that's go with uh, circles, you know, and that's going to drive furthermore the CASPA price up. Anyway, uh, that's for another video, how the uh, exchanges actually push lots of multi-million investments into a project just to buy more of that coin, let's say Caspa, and if like their customers liquidate that, they're gonna constantly buy again and again and again because they are looking to be profitable. Anyway, let's move guys right now straight into the hash rate. Uh, as you can clearly see right now, hash rate is back into a new 88. Yesterday, actually, a guy told me what happened. Uh, later on, I investigated that too. We had like a blackout. Uh, in the electricity from uh, the icy river. So this is why we dropped uh, suddenly a little bit 10%, uh, 10 petahas per second down. And subsequently, obviously, this recovered. This is why I told you that I just read um, only the icy river announcement that this problem will be fixed in the upcoming hours. So this is why I actually told you that this problem will be fixed. And Actually, not uh, just fixed, but we saw new 88s from a hash rate, 70.53 petahas per second. And the new batch of ASICs will be delivered until mid days of December. So prepare yourself, guys, to see an explosion, big explosion into the new 88s. I believe, guys, we will see new 88s at three digits above 100 petahas per second, approximately after or in the mid days of December. So get ready, prepare yourself. Uh, we will have massive increase into the hash rate the upcoming weeks. And the next reduction, guys, is in 11 days. Caspa actually does 12 smoothly monthly reductions. It actually does halving once a year, but the reductions happening like in 12 phases. It's like halving every month, but let's say the things with a name um, and actually is halving once a year, but with 12 monthly reductions. And the current total supply that is mined is 74.72% out from a maximum supply. Very, very soon, we will actually uh, mine almost the maximum supply out until 2027 guys we will have 99 percent 98 percent out from the total supply and it's going to be left 1.5 1.7 billion for the next 10 years okay to be mined because the current uh, total supply from a coins perspective is 21.6 billion coins okay out Anyway, let's move straight into the addresses. As you can clearly see, slight more increment also into addresses, approximately a thousand more, 900 more. I don't remember exactly the yesterday addresses, but obviously we are close to 1,000 more addresses. Uh, it seems that obviously we saw new investors inside of that number and the distribution of uh, this thousand more addresses happened like with 383 more crab uh, addresses, 133 octopus addresses, 173 fish addresses. Uh, actually, we saw lots of fish since yesterday. Uh, 13 dolphins, um, two more shark addresses, and two whale addresses. And from the top 10 addresses, as you can clearly see, nothing changed significantly, like uh, 927 million. Caspa coins remain the KuCoin wallet. This balance of the KuCoin wallet. Actually, Get.io pushed a little bit more uh, their purchase with Caspa, like they added a couple 20 million more Caspa coins since yesterday. Mixi actually uh, converted back from one wallet to another wallet some of their Caspa coins. I don't know why Mixi does that, swings within other uh, wallets. I don't know what's 
the games mixi playing again anyway and uphold is remaining in the same position as yesterday the rest addresses are actually the same and guys i believe like mixi is remaining in the area of 500 million caspa coins within 550 million caspa coins due to the reason that the majority of caspa investors buy are buying from mixi mixi was actually in the first position with above 1 billion coins and right now they are in the half of that because the majority of Caspa investors are buying from Mixi. So uh, we educate lots of people to do not hold their cryptos in exchanges. And that's why lots of people are buying from Mixi and immediately withdraw all these Caspa coins into a cold storage. So Mixi has real big trouble to scale up to the top one again, exactly where it was before we liquidate it. Okay. I believe we liquidate a lot Mixi. And guys, I believe we must, everyone who has QYC and doesn't have a problem with the QYC, I recommend you to start getting your Caspa from KuCoin to liquidate this KuCoin wallet too, okay? Because they are buying aggressively and they're about to have like 1 billion out of the 28 billion of Caspa very soon. Anyway, uh, let's liquidate everything, every single exchange of that before they're gonna got the power to manipulate us with some selling pressures anyway let's move straight into the technical side of caspa because guys right now caspa is standing in a position that it seems that it doesn't have more power to pump i told you i highly believe that this pump of caspa happened because the pump of bitcoin and actually the new ATH of bitcoin and at thirty-eight thousand and four hundred dollars that we reached actually yesterday today the candle seems weak we don't know that if we're gonna close in a consolidation phase or otherwise we're gonna see furthermore pump like suddenly pump the upcoming hours we have like nine hours within 10 hours to close this candle anyway guys if we won't see like fundamental news for caspa okay new fundamental news like exchange listing and i'm speaking right now for big exchange okay top tier exchange like binance spots or whatever caspa won't be able to pump above 15 cents 16 cents even if bitcoin actually pumped to forty thousand dollars i highly believe that okay because guys we need to open the doors for more retail investors and also guys obviously we need the big volume from the institutional investors retail investors right now cannot pump the price people don't get it it's very simple we are in the hands of institutional investors institutional investors if they want they can pump right now the price at 20 cents not even at 16 and 17 cents retail investors cannot do that okay we buy from exchanges people don't get it we buy from exchanges how actually we can pump the price while actually kucoin has 927 million caspa coins who's gonna buy all of these coins from kucoin to liquidate it and push actually kucoin to buy more caspa none and actually guys um we will need new wells to come okay new institutional investors to come not the old ones so we need to see further bigger buying pressure and big insane big volumes by institutional investors and at this point i will say that we need um top tier exchanges okay i i will say that to see furthermore pump from here this is the top to see furthermore pump from here um it can happen only with institutional investors anyway let's say the scenario that we won't see that fundamental news okay because with the fundamental news we can potentially see a pump to 20 cents and it can happen everything guys okay even if we say right now this is um that this is hard it can happen okay it can happen absolutely everything in crypto we don't go in one way we are open and we prepare for everything i would like you to clarify uh the things here we are ready for everything. We are ready for the pump. We are ready for the dump. It can happen everything, okay? I will repeat this again. It can happen everything, okay? We can see a pump. We can see a dump. I say a couple things twice and even more times because some people uh, don't understand exactly what I'm saying and they focus only in the direction that I'm speaking about and subsequently they told me like that I called a dump or a correction that I'm not. I say to you, it can happen everything one more time. Anyway, from here, actually, if Bitcoin 
uh, won't pump and actually if Bitcoin will come back to $36,000 and break this uptrend uh, support, Caspa, I think it will have a trouble, okay? And, and it will have a trouble that maybe it's gonna drop it back to this support. Maybe from this point, we will retest the 11 cents or the 12 cents area. And if we're gonna come, guys, a little bit below, uh, also it's gonna be a sweet spot for the traders to sort down with big, and not only the traders, also the big whales that can open with big leverages and sort Caspa from that point due to this double top. Okay, obviously I don't rely that much in um, technical side. I'm not 100% my analysis in technical side. I rely in a combination, fundamentals and technicals. And I believe that if this uh, reversal will happen without any fundamental news of Caspa that can pump the price, I believe that maybe we will have further more correction and maybe this double top will play out. Okay, especially if we're gonna break this crucial uptrend uh, support, this aggressive uptrend support without the bounce. Guys, I believe that we have probabilities to break that and follow 100% the technical price target of this double top. I believe also institutional investors that can manipulate the price will manipulate the price, okay? And they're gonna drop the price back to 0 0.092 cents, 93 cents, that is the previous resistance. I believe that like if Bitcoin will do a free fall from here and get also back to 33, $32,000, also guys, uh, Caspa will get even lower and we will get into the, this white line that as I called you yesterday in the previous days, this white line is the fad line, okay? And the worst case scenario for me here is the seven cents, more likely scenario, like uh, for me, it's gonna be the 0 0.075 cents within 0 0.085 cents. And guys, you must be aware of that. It can happen. Don't listen inexperienced guys that don't have experience in the space. I have seen everything. It can happen, okay? Also the pump to the upside can happen. Don't forget, right now we'll show you a really fast an example. I found Caspa here, okay? And I didn't buy because I don't buy the tops. You know that. I found Caspa here. Here, actually, I convinced on this area at three cents approximately, I convinced that Caspa is a gem and is going straight to top 10. I was continuing my uh, investigation in Caspa and I was even day by day, I was saying to myself that this project uh, will go even higher, top five, top three. My conviction every day was getting stronger. And guys, I was waiting to see the perfect time to buy, okay? Uh, and the perfect time to buy it was when we were ready to see a, a big bounce from this um, resistance, of this downturn resistance. And I bought my first signal when we broke that, okay? When we actually, I saw a big buying pressure here, I bought my first signal. And when I actually convinced about this uptrend movement, that would follow on this second signal i went all in okay and as you can clearly see for those who don't know i always buy the bottoms i'm ready for the bottom if the bottom will happen to this fat line uh, i'm gonna be ready and this is actually what we teach in wealthnet well if you're a completely beginner and you don't know what to do and how to handle the situations guys this is why i created this group uh we have lots of elite investors also inside with years of experience in the space we can help you to be in a path of prosperity and not in the path that will set you broke and will set you in a position that you won't know what to do okay how to handle the profits uh when to buy when to sell that's why we are here we do guys approximately four to five live streams private live streams in Wealthnet. Guys, I'm be there for you in my Discord. Like with almost daily private live streams, you can come up in the live stream and ask me whatever you would like. It's more easier for me instead of writing to speak for your problem, your question, okay? And give you multiple examples how you should handle each situation. So I believe it's gonna be very helpful. And if you are interested to join, uh, you can join. We are above 100 members and we are growing. Anyway, this is what's happening from this position of Caspa, from the technical side of Caspa. And guys, actually at the same time, I told you the situation of the Bitcoin. Bitcoin has this crucial uptrend support. If this will break and actually Bitcoin won't pump to $40,000 that I believe it has probabilities to, to see something like that, we will get for our test 
to $35,500. If this will break to, I believe, guys, that we can potentially see a free fall into Bitcoin price from $35,000 back to $32,000, $33,000. And I believe we can go for a retest of this $31,000. $250. Guys, I told you that I believe that we will retest this support before actually we will jump into the bull run territory, okay, and build the bull run territory. Except if we're going to see like Bitcoin ETF approvals, something that maybe will start the bull run even earlier than we think about, okay. So that's the current situation of Bitcoin. And let's go, guys, straight into the topic because I know lots of people right now are waiting to listen if they should go all in or not in Caspa. Guys, personally, before a couple uh, months, I actually did this video. So I would like to repeat that because new investors came since then. Okay, back in the days when we had under a billion market cap, uh, people could not even imagine that we can go like in the next two months uh, at 3 billion and above. So right now that we have got more investors, I would like to speak again for this uh, subject. I see lots of questions every day in my Twitter and also uh, in my YouTube. Chris, should I go all in in this uh, project? Like, because we speak that this project will be top two, top three, top one, and it, it will replace everything is better than Bitcoin, is better than everything else that we have ever seen. The future is very bright and lots of people right now th are thinking if they should go all in into Caspa on this early stage. Guys, look, if you don't have lots of experience, for me, Caspa, except if that is a very great investment as a return of investment, is also a very safe investment, okay? If you put every other crypto near to Caspa, for me, the other crypto has very big flaws, okay, uh, around the safety. Like, this is why we say if you buy Caspa, you will sleep very well at the nights without anxiety. If you put every, like, all in in another project like Algorand, AIDS Bar, or ICP, whatever, you won't sleep well at the nights because these projects also are very vulnerable for attack from ACC. These projects are not freelanced. The projects are backed by VCs. They had pre-allocation to the insiders. Uh, also, they are proof of stake. That means that the rich people manipulate and they can do whatever they would like. So as you understand, um, Caspa has none of that things. So it's fair. It's uh, like Caspa belongs to people. Okay, doesn't belong to a company or to the developers or to the miners. Caspa belongs to everyone, to every people that actually invest in Caspa and hold Caspa. And this is actually the democratization that we are looking at. Okay, exactly as Satoshi Nakamoto taught us. And guys, to be real, Caspa is the only project in the crypto space that is as close to the Bitcoin fundamentals. And the funny thing here is through the innovative protocols that Caspa has, the Ghost Tag uh, and also the Golang and also the very innovative Block Dag, that's why we call it as the world's first block DAG. Actually, Caspa is far better than Bitcoin. Okay, it actually surpassed the efficiency while it sustained the main principles of Bitcoin. This is why we say that it solves the trilemma, scalability, security, and digitalization with the main principles of Bitcoin. And guys, Caspa at the end of the day is money. Okay, it's far beyond just as a simple investment with good return. Caspa is money. We're going to use Caspa as digital currency in the future. People don't see that. People see Caspa as an investment. It's far beyond than as a symbol crypto investment. Uh, to reply your question, guys, if you're a beginner here and you don't know how to invest in other projects or whatever, uh, yes, I recommend you to go all in in Caspa. If obviously not financial advisor, this is exactly what I would do if I were you in my early days because Caspa is the safest investment right now with the biggest return okay you, actually the safest is bitcoin but bitcoin doesn't have actually this big return 
So guys, Casper for me has the second place from a safety side in the crypto space. And to me, if you ask my opinion, is the best risk reward ratio that it can change your life literally in the future. Because alongside, if you exclude the safety and if you look Caspa uh, only for the profitability, guys, Caspa return is going to be massive because the price always goes up. We will always see Caspa into exponential growth year after year and buran after buran because guys caspa is actually the combination of bitcoin and ethereum if caspa will implement smart contracts it's game over we will have the the principles of bitcoin and the principles of ethereum together like peer-to-peer -peer payment system a store value in caspa with the most efficient way and also at the same time simultaneously we will have a world ecosystem that it will build upon caspa and that's gonna be game over multi-trillion worth asset so even if you buy now at 3 billion that is the top you will have insane return but you must look that as the vision of caspa from now into the future if you are actually would like to to achieve that okay you need to go deeper and see that caspa is not only as a good crypto investment is more than that my recommendation is that if you have less than six figures right now ready to go into the market uh, yeah, you can actually risk that and uh, go into cost because guys, it's once in a lifetime opportunities. It's like you find Bitcoin 2011, 2012. You would go all in if you were had the knowledge to understand where it's going to get. Right now we have Caspa and this is why I recommend that, not financial advice, okay, I say that again, um, that we must exploit this opportunity. But for me personally, Caspa, as I told you, is the safest investment. So I would do that if I had less than 100K, I mean dollars, $100,000 ready to go into the market. But if you have further more than six figures, and right now we speak for big amounts, okay, for serious investment, uh, guys, I recommend you, you can go all in, but you can back your investment, your Caspa investment with a couple Bitcoins. This is going to actually create you a very powerful portfolio that... Yeah, you're going to be all in in Caspa, but with some safety because we speak for big money, okay? Um, so it's not going to be a big deal to buy like one Bitcoin. Like if you have $200,000, it's not a big deal to buy like $160,000 worth of Caspa and for the 25%, the $40,000 to drop it into Bitcoin just to cover uh, a safety. Just in the case the worst case scenario, because if you back your investment with, and I mean the big investment, okay, with Bitcoins, even if Caspa will go to zero, Bitcoin won't go to zero, okay? But in reality, guys, I don't believe that Caspa has even a single probability like to go to zero, Caspa has probabilities like 0.0000000001% to happen. It's impossible, okay? It's impossible. Anyway, for me personally, due to the reason that Caspa operation is only for two years, and this is the reason that actually I'm not all in in Caspa because I have backed my investment even at the price that I bought at two cents by a couple bitcoins. Due to the reason that I was ex Bitcoin Maxi, so we understand that I had a couple bitcoins uh, ready to uh, back my investment. I went all in. I backed my investment with a couple bitcoins, but in 2027, when Caspa actually will have already, uh, 2027 is going to be the bear market of uh, the next bull run, okay, of the 2025. Anyway, at that point, then I will go all in in Caspa because Caspa will have like six years of, of its operation. And also at that point, the hard forks, Rustlang and Dagnite will be implemented into the mainnet. So the safety is going to be increased into levels like close to 100%, okay, around Caspa. So at that point, even if you have very huge uh, amounts of money, it deserves to take the risk and go all in into Caspa. For me, diversification is not the key because, guys, some people say, 
oh, 100% cost power, why the hell you should do that? You don't know nothing. Diversification is the key. And I, I say to that, okay, diversification is the key. What coin, if you exclude Bitcoin, you suggest me to buy? Everything else is scam. 99% of the other cryptos are scam. Ethereum is scam. BNB is scam. XRP is scam. Solana is scam. I won't actually stick right now to tell you why these projects are scam, but in reality, they are scams. Lido is scam. Cardano is scam. Dogecoin is scam. Tron is scam. Toncoin is scam. Avalanche is scam. Polygon is scam. Polkadot is scam. DAI is scam. Litecoin is not a scam, but it will never have uh, a global adoption. Sibainu is scam. Uniswap is DEX. Okay, it will never have like that big uh, adoption. Bitcoin Cash is not a scam, but it will never have a global adoption. So as you understand, you don't have lots of choices. Okay, if you would like to diversify, go outside of the crypto. You don't need to be inside of the crypto. Like you can hold a couple of Bitcoins if your investment is so big and the rest can be Casper and diversify outside of the crypto. This is my recommendation. This is why uh, what I would do if I were you. Uh, this is what I did. Okay, not financial advisor. You should take responsibility of your actions whatever you're going to do, whatever you're going to decide, this is actually what I would do if I were you with my current uh, experience after a couple of years. And actually, I did that, okay? Whatever I, I'm telling you right now, I did that before a couple of months. It's not something that I don't do, okay? I did that. So this is exactly what you must to know about if you should go all in in Caspa. And guys, don't forget to check my Patreon group, as I told you, Wealthnet is my patron tier. Wealthnet is a group that is designed to help you build a proper crypto investing mindset. And also, guys, today we have a live stream. Uh, two hours later of, of this video that you see, the live stream will start. And Wealthnet, guys, is a crypto community, like-minded people inside. You will find multimillionaires, crypto YouTubers, crypto experts, whatever you can imagine, business owners, everything. In Wealthnet, you will learn from experienced people who have already succeeded in the crypto field and right now enjoy a wealthy life. And in Wealthnet, guys, you will receive an investing guidance. And through our experience, okay, from the elite crypto investors, you will avoid very basic mistakes that everyone does in the early uh, years of uh, his crypto journey. So you're going to be in a very advantaged position to be in the path of the prosperity very, very fast. And guys, if you're looking to become a lifetime member in the inner cycle of Wealthnet, I recommend you to send an email to wealthnetcrypto.gmail.com with a brief introduction for yourself and you'll have furthermore benefits if you will be eligible to join in our lifetime. And don't forget for the people who ask me, Chris, where you store your Casper, where you store your cryptos? Guys, I store my Casper in a cold storage, heads down the best uh, place to save uh, your Casper and your cryptos. Tadjem Wallet is my recommendation for the cold storage. This is what I use and I'm very satisfied customer. Uh, with the discount code CryptoCrease, you will have 10% off in your purchase. If you click here, the link Tadjem, it's going to put you in that site. And if you press up right in the corner, get Tadjem, you will get straight here. Uh, I recommend you to choose the three card set over the two card set. It's way safer to do a mistake like and lose a card. Um, it's not a problem. You have another two. So when you are investing, go for safety first. And the promo code, don't forget to put the crypto crease to get the 10% off. And that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate you for every like and every comment. It means a lot to me. And I will see you all in my next video. Until my next video, your boy Chris out. Bye.